Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good evening. Welcome to the Elk Grove Committee for the Arts for the Love of Music. Thank you, yes. This will be a classical music experience brought to you by the Elk Grove Committee for the Arts. My name is uh, Council Member Pat Hume, and I will be your MC for the evening. And I want to thank you all for coming out tonight and being here to show your support of cultural offerings in Elk Grove, because if we want to see more cultural offerings in Elk Grove, we have to come out and support those cultural offerings that are here. And we have to make sure that those influencers that can make those things happen know that it's important to you. So I'd like to introduce one of those influencers right now, my colleague on the Elk Grove City Council, Vice Mayor Steve Detrick. The Elk Grove Committee for the Arts is a volunteer organization made up of some very passionate women. I'd like them all to stand right now, if they wouldn't mind, please. Thank you so much for what you do. They are helping to highlight, showcase, and preserve the arts right here in our beautiful city, with tonight's focus being on music. We have an extraordinary concert planned for you this evening that will take you on a journey of romantic, classical works performed by some of the most amazing and talented local musicians. You should all have received a program for the evening so that you can follow along, and it also includes some translations for some of the songs that will be sung. We do ask that you please turn off your cell phones or at least silence them, and if you would like to take a flash, uh, or excuse me, a, a photograph or a re recording, do so without the flash. I'd recommend you not do it and just enjoy and soak up the moment while it's happening, but if you feel the need to uh, Facebook this later, uh, please turn off that flash. Also, if you do need to leave your seat for any reason, either that cell phone started buzzing in your pocket or nature is calling you to the restrooms, please wait and do it at the break in between performances. Do not interrupt the performance out of respect for those performers. Thank you. Uh, after the first uh, set of songs, we will have a 20-minute intermission scheduled where you will find a complimentary dessert bar and water station out in the lobby, along with a no-host bar uh, featuring beer, wine, and soda. And that bar is being provided by the Lions Club. All proceeds for it will go to youth scholarships. So it's helping out another great cause in the community. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and take my seat so that we can all enjoy For the Love of Music.
written by Yayo Kitazume, a Japanese female composer that studied at the National University of Fine Arts in Tokyo. She has won numerous awards for her compositions featuring wind and
Brandon Milton, everyone. Thank you. Brandon.
Brian McNeil, ladies and gentlemen. And now for the young, yes. And now for all of the young folks I see out in the audience right now, and those of you that are young at heart, will enjoy a 20 minute intermission where there's complimentary desserts and water. And if that's not the way you'd like to spend your Friday night, there is a, a no host bar out there. And again, the proceeds will go to the Lions Club. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you back here in 20 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And welcome back. Uh, we hope you're having a wonderful evening this far. I had a gentleman come up to me. Yes. A gentleman come up to me during the break and he said he's been here for 19 years and he wanted to know how many of these he's missed. And I said, this is the first one. So keep coming. Yeah. I had another arts advocate come up to me and say, imagine this with a true stage and true lighting and a sound produ producer and all of these things. So let's make this happen. Not that this isn't wonderful, but Elk Grove, it's time to take this to the next level. So at this point, I would like to uh, invite uh, Anita Felix and John Koza back to the stage. They're going to share a few words with you uh, before playing, and then they're going to play uh, four pieces for you. Uh, and I believe the uh, harpist, whose name I do not have, will accompany them, so maybe she'll be introduced at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for a lovely piece. <laughs>
most well-known tenor arias, Nessun Dorma, from Trinato. I might have heard of him uh, by the name of Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> Pavarotti is the piece beyond opera after performing it at the 1990 World Cup. Robert, if you please join me on stage. This opera takes place in ancient Peking, China. The protagonist, Kala, falls in love with Princess Ternado. However, any man who wishes to marry Ternado must first answer three riddles. If he fails, he will be beheaded. In the aria, Kala expresses his triumphant assurance that he will win.
the neck of the instrument, they attached over 2,200 moving parts. So what we do is we say, to play the harp like an angel, you have to work like the devil. <laughs> and that would be in the footwork, definitely. <laughs> anyway, it's my new baby, and I'm so pleased about it, and I'm so happy that Anita and I can be here with you to celebrate Valentine's Day. She has something interesting to tell you about the the oncoming fight that you're going to hear. So the duo that we are about to play is a love story. It's written by Isma Lov, uh, an a, a Ukrainian harpist who comes from four generations of harpists. Uh, the duo consists of four movements. The first is a meeting and the man is played by the violin, and the woman played by the harp. And the man begins the piece and invites her to dance. It's the second movement is followed by a very beautiful lyrical prayer, and then love did not go smoothly. <laughs> and in the third movement, we have a rather discordant quarrel. The violin, which is the man, has to apologize in the form of a cadenza. <laughs> and then finally we have a reconciliation and a peaceful close to the peace with the fourth movement. Thank you. 
She was one of Alexander the Great's favorite girlfriends. Yeah, the favorite. We know he had hundreds of all kinds of people in his life, and this gal was his favorite. So the opera is about Thais and her life with Alexander. You know, they conquered a lot. She had a special hate for Persepolis, one of the cities in Iran. And she said to Alexander, look, you're great, you're powerful. When you capture that city, can I throw the torch on it? <laughs> I'd like to burn it. And, and history reports, she actually threw the first torch on that city. Anyway, so Mazzini writes this beautiful opera featuring Thais. Now, she's a courtesan. And what happens in the opera is Thais meets a priest. And he says to her, naughty girl, you need to clean up your life. You need to leave this man and behave, be a nice woman. And what happens is the curtain closes. And I love this because it's the only opera like this. The curtain closes. Act two is still there. And all of a sudden, you hear the harp start this piece. And then you hear the violinist. And then the orchestra creeps in bit by bit in this about four minute work. And when the curtains open at the end, guess what? Thais has been converted. She's cleaned up her act, and she's done with that sordid life. So it's actually a song about conversion. This thing right in the middle of the opera. So <laughs> by the time the opera came out, there were actually eight versions of this violin and harp duet published in Paris. So probably Brennan, you probably played it under clarinet, right, Brennan? <laughs> Singers, have you sung it? I don't know. This part of it is no vocal part. But I hope you enjoyed probably the most famous piece ever written for violin and harp, Thais. Meditation from Thais by Massimo.
Anita Felix, and Dr. Beverly Westner. Thank you. to behold, but its true beauty only revealed itself once those wonderful sounds started eliciting from it. Thank you so much, Dr. Bethel. Next up to the stage, we're going to lighten things up a little bit. I'd like to invite uh, Leslie Sandifer to come back up. She's going to sing uh, you a piece from American Musical Theater from the uh, musical Showboat. Here is Can't Help Loving That.
you had a good time. music to the Lions Club and obviously to all of you for coming out but if I could have the members of the Committee for the Arts come down here please. Nan Mann, Chair, Nan Mahone coming down here. Nan, thank you. Cheryl Grice, Vice Chair. 
Sally Guttridge, recorder. Liz Irons, member. Leslie Sandifer, member. And they have something special for each of the performers. And then if uh, Mona Schmidt wouldn't mind coming down here, please. We would like to thank, first of all, and a, a lot of contacts and made this night really be what it was so we want to show a special appreciation here. And for every group of cats, they need a herder. And so we want to thank Mona Schmidt, who is the lia city liaison for the Committee for the Arts. She put in so much hard work to make tonight happen. I hope you all had a wonderful evening. My name is Councilman Pat Hume. I am pleasure to be your MC this evening. And let's continue bringing arts to Elk Grove. Thank you so much. God bless. Enjoy your safety.